So, one, this camera looks like it might actually work. So, it's been a long time since I've ever done a, a selfie cam video, but I felt it was appropriate. So, hopefully this will work. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Right now, it's looking like this weirdo reverse shit, but it seems to work. And it's like the camera quality is actually really good now. So, hey, it actually is like how it should have been when I got it, but whatever. It's neither here nor there. I just got back from the fucking dentist, but you don't care about that. You care about this fucking video. Okay. So Biden's slipping in the fucking polls, which is terrible. Um, I have issues with Joe Biden. I made those issues known in videos. Time and time again. With that said, I will take Biden over Trump any day of the fucking week. Which is why I bought this shit. Okay? I don't like that I bought this, but I bought it. And I bought these. Okay, camera's still got some weird issues. I don't fucking know. At least it's not pixelated nonsense, so. Hold on. So, these are the buttons I got. I'm not open them what I'm going to wear them, because I don't really go out too much, but okay, I'm going to go back to the selfie cam. This is one of the worst case scenarios, the worst case scenario that I was predicting, because it's like, oh, look, there are mass protests. There is extremes happening right now. What does Biden do? He, of course, denounces them. Now, I don't think he was 100% wrong in what he said, in the content of what he said. However, the tone of it was extremely patronizing. I think it lacked empathy for the grievances of the people doing more of the violent protests. And it showed his tone-deaf approach. Because he brings up John Lewis and Martin Luther King Jr. Now, John Lewis, I understand bringing up. He recently died. However, you have to understand that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said the following about rights. They are the language of the unheard. So, we are seeing that in full swing. However, I should also mention that within that same quote of MLK going, rights are the language of the unheard, or a riot is the language of the unheard, to be more accurate to that quote, he also said, let me just say, I will continue to say what I've always said, that riots are self-defeating and self-destructive. However, in the final analysis, a riot is the language of the unheard. I'm going to keep using that quote because that quote encompasses riots, I think, being ineffective. However, MLK also recognizing the reasoning behind a riot. If you look at Cornell West's book, the Radical King, you will see a section there where King specifically goes in to the reasons to riot. I don't agree with rioting. I don't condone rioting in any form. I'm a very nonviolent person. However, that doesn't mean I do not understand the systematic issues that will lead to a riot happening. And the Trump administration's response to this pandemic is one example of that. How he's handled the riots has only escalated them and made it worse. To the point where we are now having right-wing militias kill motherfuckers and an Antifa guy actually shooting someone. I should mention, however, that there was someone who was a medic who happened to be Antifa that was willing and was almost close to saving the guy who was Patriot Prayer who got killed. This medic was willing to save them Guess what? The cops intervened and beat the crap out of the medic before he could do anything. They said, and their excuses were, oh, well, we need to wait for a real medic while the guy is dying of a fucking gunshot wound. And you have a medic right there who's willing to fucking help him and who didn't seem to give a shit, rightfully so, about whose side he was on because a human life is a fucking human life. I wish the right had that same level of fucking empathy and compassion. That's what pisses me the fuck off. Really. 
So I think I got my grievances off my chest. Um, with that in mind, live long and prosper and have a nice day.